It's the famous Northeast Regiment with a proud and illustrious history spanning more than 200 years. Now a new exhibition has opened at the Gordon Highlanders Museum in Aberdeen. Curators say it offers a fascinating insight. Louise Jose reports. Drawn from all walks of life, they went into battle with a sense of duty and pride. The Gordon Highlanders fought in every corner of the world from India to the Falklands. Ben's Glens and Heroes celebrates the rich cultural origins and traditions of the regiment. The exhibition was unveiled today at the Aberdeen Military Museum created in its name. This room contains a range of artefacts, some of which are going on public display for the very first time. Among them, a set of bagpipes owned by the last surviving piper to have played in battle in the First World War. The bagpipes belong to Piper Harry Lunan of 5th Battalion, the Gordon Highlanders. He played his bagpipes during a, an attack on some place called High Wood in uh, the summer of 1916. And he was absolutely terrified, he remembered saying, but he kept playing these pipes to inspire the lads to come up and over with him. And um, he survived the First World War and lived for a very long time and was one of the last surviving veterans and Scottish pipers from the First World War. Other highlights include one of the oldest Gordon Highlander kilts in existence, bought for 14 shillings back in 1825. And this red sash, which it's thought was used to lower the coffin of the British Army officer, Sir John Moore. The display is the first to be unveiled in the new Luke Hamilton room. It's a welcome moment for the museum, which previously faced closure and was hit hard by the pandemic. The reaction to the exhibition has been one of... Um and it's an overused phrase, but wow. I think that young people are fascinated when they learn stories such as, um, say in the First World War, and you explain that perhaps um, X number of men went away from a village and you tell them the number that came back. And I think it really resonates with people um, that uh, the Gordon Highlanders was a big, big part of the community here in Aberdeen, but also in Aberdeenshire. We tell their stories and we remember them and we perhaps learn from some of the lessons of the past in the hopes of a, a peaceful and brighter future. The museum plans to host a series of exhibitions over the next five years, continuing to explore the intriguing Highland credentials of this much-loved regiment. Louise Hosey, STV News.